Now, did you know this while South Africa may be very competitive in lots of sporting codes across the world, rugby, soccer, cricket, we are actually among the very best in a royal sport that originates in the 16th century, the sport of tug of war. And this weekend sees the national championships taking place out in Oatswood. And I've got representatives of the Western Province tug of war team. Uh, Andre is here with us, Yulandi, Ane and Charlie. Good morning to you all. Welcome to the show. Morning, it's Lekha. great to have you. Now, the sport of tug of war, I think uh, it's, it's something that we, we've each, like, we probably tried at school when we were playing with our friends, but I didn't know there was actually such a big sport. And, and, uh, and uh, it is a huge sport internationally. Yes, Ant Anton is the name. Anton, Anton, yes. 66 countries in the world participate, about 4.5 million athletes, and uh, 4 million of that in the Asian countries, which is currently becoming very large in, in the sport. Take me through, I mean, obviously pre uh, preparing for the sport, a lot, of, a lot of strength work has to, has to go into, into it. How many hours do you, do you spend preparing training for this our national team which is going to colombia national ladies team in a week's time they mm. spend at this time six days a week uh, practicing five days um, on the rope they're getting together yeah. and then uh, the other day they use for gym work so only one rest day a week dames gebruik jy handskoene want die die handes moet 'n bietjie sag nê uh, nee, ons gebruik eindelijk glad die handskoene is nogal 'n algemene vraag wat ons kry um, maar as 'n mens ons hande voel sal jy nogal voel dit is redelik hard dit is nie baie vroulik nie maar dit is deel van die sport so jy is derde beste in die hele wêreld Hoe kom is hoe kom denk jy as die Suid-Afrikaanse uh, tug of war span so goed, Jolandi? Um, ek denk ons het baie passie vir die sport en um, dis nie professioneel nie, so dit vat baie van 'n persoon en jy moet redelik committed wees om dit te kan doen. So dit help baie dat ons so passievol daaroor is mm. dat ons daai harde werk insit en ek denk dit werk nogal sy vrugte af. Ja. En Anne, hoe hoe het jy begin in tug of war? Hoe kom jy besluit om dit te doen as 'n sport? Um, my broer het begin deur voortrekkers en ja. Toe het hy met sy spanning dit begin doen en toe het ek en my ma besluit maar dat ek lekker. Dat we ons het gesien daar as vrouwens en toe begin ons dit ook doen en ja. Fantastisch, maar baie, baie geluk met al die sukses wat jy tot so ver bereik het. Charlie, we were talking just now with 4 point something million uh, uh, Asian uh, people doing the sport of tug of war. Yeah. They dominate more the indoor sport, so there's a big difference between the indoor tug of war and yes, outdoor. Tell me, correct. tell me about the difference. Uh, the indoor is done with tackies, mm -hmm. as we call tackies, smooth, uh, very sticky tackies. And then Very stinky tacky. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, sticky. Sorry. Sticky. Sorry. Yes. And uh, for grip, naturally, yes. and mm -hmm. that is done on a mat, uh, indoors, uh, normally in a in a hall. Yeah. And then outdoors done on a grass pitch, uh, with a boot that has a steel heel. Oh wow. Okay. And conforms to. Standards. Yeah, and obviously the elements played uh, play a, a role yes. there with wet conditions and whatnot. So yeah. after the break, we're going to have a bit of a challenge. We're going to have a tug of war rope challenge with you guys, but we need to, to take us through the basics of how do we hold the rope and how do we stand. So Anton, would you please demonstrate for us? Or, that uh, Charlie. Charlie and Yolandi. Okay, there we go. Yolandi can All demonstrate. Right. That Charlie can speak. No, let me there. move around from this side. All right. So you have two teams. <clears throat> two teams. On yes. On either side. Yes. Uh, what the first command would be: pick up the rope. Yep. Uh, and then with your right hand or whichever hand you're comfortable you stand on the right hand side that's correct uh -huh. and then you would get the command uh, take the strain take the strain and then they would settle down okay now go steady steady and that because it's very unsettling at this stage there's no power really on the rope yeah so you'll find there's a bit of movement so okay. they get the command steady and then you get the command pull and that's a, it's a dip and open up and then the competition is on. Where's the strength focus? Is it more in the arms where you pull or in that? No. In the, the legs. In the, the power comes through your legs, your core, your body core, uh -huh. then has to be strong enough to convert the energy power that your leg is generating and your hand is holding on to. Oh, wow. That's so a whole lot of science going on there. There's a lot involved between the power your legs and feet are putting out and your hand is holding without losing it in your body okay. and keeping your body firm. We, we, we're going to try and work out that, that scientific triangulation and then see whether we can beat the Group FM team. They're actually ready after the break. It's tug of war, baby! Woo!